a cool piece, um, but it can be very, very tough to get at least the notes to start moving together and right and left hand to coordinate well. Um, so let's break this down into four steps. We're going to talk about the right hand. We're going to talk about the left hand, how to put them together, how they can move together, and how the pedal can help us as well, because the pedal can, can help quite a lot in this piece. So first thing, right hand. The last thing you want to be doing is moving your fingers up and down uh, when you play the 16th notes. Doing that type of motion. One, you're going to get really tired really soon. And two, this will uh, uh, get on the way of the left hand. So what you want to do is keep your right hand absolutely relaxed, completely weightless, and using only these um, these joints that you have in your hand. You want to be bringing your fingers up like this and never like this. So this is the part of my hand that I want to control and coordinate when I use any of my fingers for this entire piece, basically. Um, only later on in the piece, I will actually have scales, so I will get to move my fingers in a more normal way. But throughout the, these, these are complement parts, I'll be playing like this. Notice that I'm also helping with my wrist, but I'll talk about that in a second. First, maybe we can just do this quick exercise. Maybe we can lift each finger and making sure that finger is absolutely straight. Leave it there for a second and relax. Lift the next. Leave it there, make sure this doesn't happen, and relax. Leave it there, and relax. Bring it up. Again, make sure this doesn't happen. No finger should be doing this. We want to isolate this part of your hand completely. So once this is feeling okay, then we turn our hand, and when you play, this is what your fingers will be doing. Not at all this, or even less this and you want to keep your hand your right hand always always super super close to the keys your right hand will be touching the keys all the time your right hand will stay absolutely together with the keyboard that I was also helping with my wrist because precisely because I'm not doing this I kind of need help from my wrist just to get this going just to get my uh, uh, the uh, fingers two and five to alternate without much effort and I am using two and five I'm not using one and five and that's because I try to avoid my thumb in this right hand because the left hand is always on top if my thumb is there then I don't have a lot of space for my left hand. If my thumb is out of the way, then I have more space. Of course, uh, in some uh, positions here, I need my thumb, but what, whenever I find that my thumb can stay out and I can use just fingers two and five, I will generally prefer that um, position. So again, staying very close to the keys and moving my fingers as little as possible I will use this motion, nothing else. And if I need more, I will help with my wrist. So let me play this one more time, very slowly, very legato, very, very light as well. hand you can do is when you practice uh, give an accent on the first note of every group what this does it will just help your hand stay in place and know exactly where it's changing position so I'm changing from here Highlighting that note may just help me um, um, learn exactly where that change happens so I can relax immediately. I don't keep trying to adjust my hand as I shift to another position. So this is what I'll be very careful with the right hand. I'll make sure I play 
the entire section like this uh, many, many times until this is very comfortable. And only then I will look at the left hand. So now about the left hand, um, the left hand will be completely different. The left hand will not be connecting anything. The left hand will be jumping quite a lot and the left hand will generally have a whole lot more sound. The left hand is playing the melody here. So the left hand to start, and for a while actually, we will hold the long notes. I know that when we play, they, they overlap. We'll talk about that in a moment. But for now, I'm going to hold. Notice how loud I play those melodic notes. This is very much intentional, and when you play both hands together, this is actually the sound you will have, even in soft parts. Maybe they can get a little softer, but you need this, um, this sharp, this fast action in every uh, melodic note. Now also notice that I'm dropping my hand on those uh, loud notes. I'm not playing louder with my finger. I'm not going to use a, a, a finger motion for these, for, for these loud notes. I'm going to use my entire arm. I'm going to fall on those notes. And the other eighth notes, very light. Never legato. But just much lighter. And final thing here for the left hand, I will generally come into a position with a uh, falling motion, not a downwards motion. Be careful with this idea of going down. I'm falling into the keys. I'm not going down. Going down implies that I'm kind of getting stuck down there. Uh, falling is a much better idea because when you fall, um, you are not stuck down uh, at the bottom of the key. You let your arm relax and that's an important part of it. So I'm going to fall in every position and at the end of the position I will Play the last note, there is always an eighth note there, uh, often an eighth note, and, and I'm going to use that last eighth note to jump out of that position. And when I jump out, I'm ready to fall in again. And I'm going to use that to my advantage. So, jump, down, jump, fall. jump happens at the same time that I play the note. I don't play and then I jump. I never do that. I play and jump at the same time. The result is a very short, extremely short and quick note. This is what I would be uh, uh, mostly um, concerned with my left hand. So now about hands together. How do we go about putting hands together? So first thing I will do, I will deliberately hold these melodic notes. But then if you try to do that, notice that the right hand is trying to play the same F that the left hand is playing. For this practice, I would leave it exactly as that. And I will try to get used to it so my right hand doesn't care. So my right hand doesn't really care whether or not that note is already occupied by another by the other hand, the right hand just keep doing its thing. What this does, it helps my hands relax and it helps me hear that melody very clearly because I need to um, use that melody to guide my mind through this music. I cannot be, be, be thinking about the eighth notes or the sixteenth notes. It's too busy for that. Um, so again, holding. And yes, I am letting my right, my, my, my right hand play that mute F, my silent F. Not a problem. Once this is comfortable, then I will let go. This point, this 
this can vary from, from hand to hand, from person to person. At this point, I like to add a little gesture, a little movement to my left hand, uh, just to help it, uh, um, just to avoid any tension here, because I have these uh, uh, louder notes, I have these big falls, and I don't want to uh, get, get stiff at any point. So I like to think that my hand is moving forward as I play. just not stuck in any, uh, any 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 position along the way and the last thing I would do then after uh, I can play the both hands together holding and then both hands together, not holding, and making sure that my right hand is very close to the keys, the left hand is very good at, at lifting and falling and, and jumping, um, I, I don't feel stiff in any way, this is when I will start using the pedal. Notice that I'm still playing very, very slowly. Now, the pedal will now help me um, hear all these notes uh, in, a more, in, in a more fluent way. So the pedal works this way. The pedal will follow exactly what the left hand is doing. The pedal will fall together with the left hand. And off, pedal. Off, down. Off, down. And if I, if I then, uh, uh, pretend my right hand is the pedal, just so you can see what my foot is doing, my foot is doing exactly this. So right now my foot is up and my foot will go down together with the left hand. Here we go. And now that together with the right hand. of slowly increasing the speed here. So a little bit faster. 